Janine Pirro was on Sebastian Gorka's radio show, America's First or America First with Sebastian Gorka. And during a commercial break, uh, while she had a hot mic, she admitted something that Fox News hadn't even publicly admitted. Uh, let's take a listen. We're still live, uh, the mics are live on, on YouTube. Are you doing any events in DC again in the near future? I don't know yet. In fact, I'm going in tonight, I'm, I'm doing Hannity tonight. And I gotta find out, they just send me my schedule every day. But if I am, I, believe me, uh, you're in it. We'd love to have you because we're, 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 Post everything, the video um, on YouTube, and we're getting you know a quarter of a million views in in two days for our biggest interviews with the De Geneva and everybody. So we'd love to have you in studio. Oh, Oh, I right. love it. I right. would love it. Right. Let's see if they'll let me. You know, Fox reviews everything. They're unbelievable. Yeah, but you got a window, uh, like because you've got a new book. You, you should have a carve out, right? Uh, no. They they are still saying you cannot do Bill O'Reilly. You cannot do Newsmax. You cannot huh. do. Oh no. Well, that's a shame. And you know what? They suspended me, and I, I'm not going to get fired. You know, uh, keep, keep, so keep, I'm worried that that suspension was the basis to tee up for uh, anything keep, I do keep, wrong. Keep, keep doing what you do. Keep doing what you do. We are back in 90 seconds. Stand by, Janine. Stand by. So she uh, <laughs> confirmed something that uh, Fox News had not confirmed publicly. Uh, she had been suspended over the statement she made about Representative Ilhan Omar. She questioned Ilhan Omar's loyalty to America because of the fact that she's Muslim. And so this is interesting. 90 seconds, stand by, Janine. And then that happened. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so um, he warned her that it was a hot mic, uh, but maybe she thought fake news. I'm going to keep talking, saying things that aren't uh, uh, public yet. So, look, it actually is slightly encouraging to me, and then I have a fun prediction. So, apparently, uh, there is a bar. It might be a super low bar, but there is a bar at Fox News. Hmm. If you uh, randomly attack a, a religion, uh, and apparently that's enough to get you suspended, not fired, right? So, again, of course, for Muslims, there's always a different rule. You know that if she had said, uh, look, I don't know that Jews can be loyal to America. Uh, we gotta have a discussion about whether they're, uh, they're really Americans. Of course she'd be fired. If you take out the word Jewish, put in Muslim, and it's a suspension. And, and we're kind of excited, like, whoa, Fox News suspended her for saying that, right? So that's just the reality of, of, of today's media environment. But speaking of media and environment, this is my prediction. Uh, after Trump leaves office, however he leaves office, um, he's gonna try Trump TV. And he's gonna pull out some of the most uh, extreme dingbats from Fox News, like Janine Pirro, Lou Dobbs, maybe he could grab Gorka from his uh, station, etc. And they're going to devolve into a quasi fascist uh, network incredibly quickly. I, they, all the brakes will be taken out of the car. So they'll have white supremacists on, mm -hmm. they'll make, they'll slip up about how what we gotta do to the Latinos and the blacks and the Muslims, etc. cetera. Uh, and it will be one of the most spectacular humiliating failures in media history. It depends on how it's funded, really. Let's keep it real. I mean, out of all the cable news networks, which one is the most viewed? Which one has the highest ratings, mm -hmm. right? No, so no, first of all, <clears throat> Trump running anything, I guarantee you leads to a bankruptcy. Guaranteed, but this one will be precipitous, this will be quick. Look, a lot of conservatives try to compete with Fox News. You know how much money Rupert Murdoch put into Fox News? He put $450 million in before they turned a profit. They lost $90 million a year for five straight years before they turned a profit. So Trump doesn't have that kind of money and, and they'll go fascist so quick and they'll lose all their advertisers. Because advertisers don't want fascists. Even Fox News has lost their advertisers. They exist because they're part of the cable packages and they get so much money per subscriber per month from the cable packages. Without the cable package strength, Trump TV is going to be an epic disaster. So we'll see, but that's my prediction. Two easy ways to follow the Young Turks. One is hit the subscribe button down below, then you're a TYT subscriber. And second is ring the bell. And when you do that on YouTube, you're notified of our videos.